I see something going on in the kitchen over there with Kevin and Beaver Rock Roastery. I think I'm going to go join Kevin because I'm starting to smell some coffee over there and I really like what I smell. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> Let's go over here. Well, it does smell pretty good. We are joined by Dan Bokma from, like you said, Beaver Rock Roastery Coffee. Thanks for coming in. Hey, thanks for Nothing having me. Nothing better than a good cu cup of coffee to get the day started. So tell us first, local business, tell us about what you do. Well, yes, we are a local roaster. Uh, we bring the raw green beans, we roast them in-house. Uh, we allow them to degas for 48 hours, which is standard, otherwise it will uh, kind of puff up. Um, from there, it is ground and put into the single serve cups within a few hours. That's a pretty quick process. So generally, you know, for larger businesses, they probably don't get to the shelf as quickly as what you guys do. Oh, absolutely. I mean, because we're small, we have that capability. A lot of the bigger guys, they'll have their roasting facilities, grinding facilities, and a whole another department in some cases for cupping. So. Um, our advantage is by far that we're small. We're able to get the fresh coffee to the consumer a lot quicker. I don't know about Will, but yeah. I was saying that I am just starting to get into drinking coffee. <laughs> I wasn't really a big coffee person, to be honest, but now that I'm starting to get into it, I'm starting to learn more and more, so it's just great that you're here. I, yeah. I know I love coffee, yeah. and you don't need to get me into it. No. The smell of it right now is enough for me. That's what I'm saying. But I guess because I'm getting into it now, I, I'm going to ask all those uh, quote-unquote stupid questions that people may not know about. So <laughs> when you, you see on the shelf that there's decaffeinated, non-decaffeinated coffee. Is that the difference between different beans or is it just the way that it's roasted? It'll be the same bean that is decaffeinated. Um, okay. Now there are two processes. The most common process is done with a chemical solution and it will actually leave a chemical byproduct in the bean. So I mean if you're uh, somebody who's trying to avoid caffeine for certain health reasons, mm -hmm. drinking uh, decaf on the chemical way can actually be more hazardous for you. Now what we use is actually called a Swiss water decaf. It's a natural water process mm -hmm. um, where they hydrate and dehydrate the bean. It actually takes 99.9% .9 of the caffeine out and leaves no chemical byproduct. And very just leaves with a very, very good tasting coffee. You must drink a lot of coffee on a daily basis, working uh, amongst us. <laughs> um, an extraordinary large <laughs> amount of coffee for that matter, yeah. But what you're doing is really great. You have the little discs that go into the Keurig machines. So yes. then people can bring those, people have these machines at home, mm -hmm. they have them at work, you can throw them in your purse, throw them in your bag, and then tr take them anywhere with you. Absolutely, I mean, that's the, uh, the big advantage. It's so convenient. Um, I know myself, I have two kids, so even to uh, brew a pot of coffee in the morning takes a little bit of time when you're I trying to whip you. together breakfast. So, you know, and this way it's a cup in, you brew your cup. And I think it's just convenient too that way because mm -hmm. you, maybe you don't have time to sit around the house for two hours and sip on a full pot of coffee coffee but you Absolutely. know what you have that 15 minutes you want to get that that morning taste of coffee maybe that jolt if you like yeah. yourself you have two kids and yeah. you need it right <laughs> absolutely i think that's the i mean i personally do have a keurig machine <laughs> at home and i use it every day and yeah. every afternoon and maybe every night yeah. <laughs> And, and what, what you guys are doing is something really great, is using them and they're able to be recycled. Tell us about that. Yes, we are actually introducing the very first fully recyclable uh, single serve cup. Now, again, that can depend on municipalities. Uh, obviously here in Ontario, a large number of us have the green bin accessible for compost. Yep. So right. we have compostable materials and then we have a foil lid. And then we are the first to introduce the fully recyclable polypropylene number no. five plastic cup and filter. So what, when I, after I've brewed my cup of coffee and I've taken it out of the Keurig machine, what do I then do with that? Now, most importantly is you don't take it out right away. These are extremely hot when they come out, so you mm -hmm. do need to give it time to cool down. We did just brew one here, but I have one cooling down from earlier. Okay. So you would go ahead and take the foil lid off. Okay. It is a peelable lid, which is not the case for most other companies. So that will go in your foil bin. Okay. You okay. have your ground coffee mm -hmm. that goes in your compost bin. Make sure that's emptied out. Might take you a second, but it's always worth it to help There's the environment. There's a lot of coffee packed in there. There is, yeah. Each yeah. cup contains between 10 and 12 grams. And then the cup and filter itself can stay as a whole. It's marked as recyclable number five on the bottom, and it just goes right in the recycling bin. There you go. That's great. And you were saying that it depends on where you live. Certain municipalities, Certain municipalities. will allow it and, and not allow it. Yes. Is it allowed in Barrie? Absolutely. Okay. Barrie, it is fully recyclable. How we have the green bin. We have, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, um, 
it's it's not common that you'll find municipalities that don't have it, but certainly we have to mention it because the product is available nationwide. Um, you you will have to check what your local guidelines now, are. Now, what happens if you know you know before trying a, a service like that you guys offer? If you've been into some of the other stores out there that people know, like the Timothys or mm -hmm. that sort of a thing, and can you do you have the ability to recreate some of those favorite flavors? Um, we do, but. Mm -hmm. uh, Quite honestly, we have much better flavors, I would okay, say. So, yeah. <laughs> but no, um, I mean, everybody's got a different choice in coffee. Um, we have eight different blends of unflavored coffee. So everything from, uh, you know, our Swiss water decaf yeah. all the way mild, medium, darks, um, unflavored. So typically we've been able to provide a unflavored coffee for everybody. Okay. But uh, certainly it all starts with fresh coffee and mm. that's that's our big advantage we have against a lot of the big players the fact that we like you said get it to market so yep. quick. and like will said he's the expert in coffee i'm well, not well i don't well, know I'm an expert <laughs> well you drink a lot <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly so you brought some coffee here today i did mm. teach us so teach us what we should take or if i'm just getting into coffee what should sort of that starter be ah well if you're getting in um the mild roasts are what you want to go with they're you know typically called your breakfast blend or in our case we have a breakfast blend and a morning rush which is uh, a breakfast blend with an extra caffeine kick Ooh, i like that now <laughs> with our recyclable cup our product will be switching over but we're also introducing a new line of decaf um, anybody who gets the uh, single serve cups will tell you that if they're a decaf drinker they've got about three to four flavors to choose from, while mm. the full caffeine drinkers have up to 400 flavors. Mm -hmm. So we're bringing out uh, four new flavors that aren't on the market currently. So if you guys wouldn't mind testing oh, some. please. This yes. would be this? our cinnamon danish in the Swiss water decaf. Okay. And, and you at oh. home can't smell this, if but. You, if you had smell vision oh. in here right now. <laughs> And again, these are available in the recyclable cup in the single serve cup. Oh, format. that's nice. Now, <laughs> you know, because you know, normally you're throwing in the sugar and the milk and all that kind of stuff, drinking it black like this, mm -hmm. you're actually getting the flavor of, the, full of flavor. the cinnamon, you know, flavor. You're Absolutely. not masking it with extra sweeteners and all of that stuff. So this tastes really good. Yeah. I find with a lot of the flavored coffee too, you actually don't really need to add any sugar or very little sugar, especially with something like this, which does have a sweet overtone to it. Absolutely, and mm -hmm. um, again, I, I put us above a lot of the other guys because a fresh coffee will be that much easier to drink. When it's been, um, for lack of a better word, staled over time, uh, it can get a bitter aftertaste. So, I mean, I'll often encourage yeah. people to try black coffee of our brand and that it might change their mind as what to. They we'll probably have time for one more. Let's, which yeah. one should we try? I will give you guys our dark cherry. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that seems to and be And while we're drinking this, let us know how we can get more information on you. So we have a website, www.beaverrockroastery.com. Uh, <laughs> here in Barrie, we're available at Coffee Corner, which is located at 12 Commerce Park Drive. Uh, it's a beautiful store. They offer the 66 cent K-cup. So uh, yeah, other you than know, that, just go to our website. I'll try I don't know, more. being the coffee holic that I am, I gotta try at least one more. Okay, well this would be our Rocky Road. Oh, okay. <sighs> yeah, so that's uh, a bit more oh. flavor than the other ones. It's like ice cream in a cup, <laughs> and it's warm. Oh, that's yeah. really good. I know, I just wanna you, curl you've up. You've transformed I, 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 I me, I'm a coffee drinker now. I wanna curl up in a blanket right now and sip on this for the <laughs> rest of the day, personally, that's amazing. Perfect, and even if we don't have time to drink it, the other uh, new one in our line is All the, right, let's give it a shot. We, we got, can squeeze we it can in. We can squeeze it in? Okay, yeah, this would sure. be our Butterscotch Royale. Oh. oh. So oh, again. wow. Yeah. Well, thanks so much, Dan. Thank My you pleasure. very much, Dan. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> you gotta grab a cup. Yeah, grab a cup. Come on, let's do it. Awesome. Thank you very much, guys. And we'll be back with more daytime coming up in just a few minutes. Oh, that's really yeah. good. <laughs> Yay!